All right. I forgot to change the name. It's weird how the uh, comments from the last game are still there. Anyway, welcome to the next episode of Gridiron History. We move forward into 1902, and finally I could start aging Chris O'Brien. The youngest age you could start at is 20. He was 17 in 1898. In 1902, that would put him at 21 years old. Pat O'Brien, have no idea what his age was, so I made him 22. 1898, 99, 1900, and 1-2. This is the fifth game. We are 1-3. and The record doesn't really matter. It's more about the history of the Cardinals. Unfortunately, in this game, I've got nothing to present. I found nothing on the 1902 Cardinals. In American football, the first Rose Bowl was played in 1902. Michigan Wolverines beat the Stanford Indians 49-0. And also crowned national champions. The Ohio League champion will be the Akron East Ends. The first professional football league, the NFL of 1902, which is unrelated to current NFL, is formed from three teams based in Pennsylvania who are backed by Major League Baseball. The team folds a few months later. November 21st, the Philadelphia Football Athletics defeat the, hold on, Canal Weolia Athletic Club of Elmira, New York, 39-0 in the first ever professional American football night game. On November 29th, the Pittsburgh Stars defeat the Philadelphia Football Athletics 11-0 at the Pittsburgh Coliseum to win the 1902 NFL Championship. So, the over on the Brian Feltz channel, Sack to the Future 1961 continues with a bonus game. Here's a look at Chris O'Brien. This season stats don't really matter. Again, it's more about... Um, Teaching the history. Uh, December 28th, the Syracuse Athletic Club defeated the New York Philadelphians. That's a weird name. 5 nothing, in the first indoor professional football American game, which was held at Madison Square Garden. All right, so again, what we're doing here. I'm teaching the history of the league. The history, one team at a time. We're going through the Arizona Cardinals. And um, it's 1902. I don't really have a lot of knowledge. Again, like I said, so we're just trying to get through this game. Now, for this game, I've played with the sliders and changed them up rapidly. I am going to turn this volume completely down so I can listen. I'm not going to talk as much as I'm trying to pay attention to the Sack to the Future game. You might hear that in my background. Again, I'm only con trying to control the O'Briens. Um, I played with the sliders. I lowered the passing sliders way down and raised the... Because the forward pass wasn't even legal till 1908. So, um, try to do the best we can like that. <clears throat> Again, though, we're playing Madden 18, or 19, so trying to win the game. This will 
do Pat O'Brien punting. So again, the um, sliders that I, I handled, the uh, passing sliders way down, quarterback accuracy is at a 20. Receivers are at a 20. Um, pass blocking a 30. I don't want to try and get O'Brien killed. Um, Pass blocking, however, as you can see already, is up to an 80, or run blocking, I mean, so running is going to be the key here. And we'll keep that way at least until passing is legal in 1908. And then uh, we'll see where it goes from there. I can't do anything with the uh, ratings, but I can at least touch the sliders. We'll stop and watch those when all the players are real, not just the O'Briens. This is not an O'Brien. Catching is hard, like I said, I've, uh... Fourth down and seven. And the field goal is no good, so, uh, okay, I see somebody watching. If you're one of the regulars, let me know. I want to try something if I got one of the regulars on. If you're not one of the regulars, welcome. What I'm doing, Gridiron History. Okay, Ryan, I'm going to switch my microphone real quick and see if you can hear me in the other one. So give me a second to run a play and then let me do that and then I will um, leave you to back to Brian the Brian Feltz channel if you wish it is 1902 I have switching microphone okay new microphone that I just got for Christmas If you can hear me. Couple minutes, obviously, for uh, kind of a field of time. Ryan is way too low, I can't hear
<clears throat> so basically that set of head, uh, microphone then is very good headphones, not so much microphone as I can't touch the volume. So the passing sliders, Ryan, I was uh, saying earlier, have been downgraded to the part where passing is going to be virtually impossible. The running sliders have been increased to try to make the game feel more 1902-ish. I don't exactly know what Paddle Brian's doing right there, a little jiggle. But um, it's already definitely affected gameplay as uh, we've had some easy drop passes and quarterbacks really wide on their mark. So. It might make the game more boring, but again, as I get through the years, the weeks, it'll return to normal. The, pa the Ford Pass isn't even legal right now, so... Of course, it didn't say it was impossible to catch. Just harder. Okay, so what do we got now? First and ten again. Uh, 1902. First Rose Bowl was played on January 1st. A couple of NF or first league known as the NFL was created. Nice. I mentioned that earlier, but uh, why am I rushing? I'm supposed to be covering. I wasn't paying attention there for a second. The um, Racine Cardinals. Don't know anything about them. Not a dang thing. Couldn't find out anything. Don't even know if the O'Briens are still involved in the team. Obviously, Chris is because he was involved with the team when they were founded in 1920, when the NFL was founded. But um, we got a sack there. Down on the Brian Fells channel, the Cardinals are driving for a score. Over here, the Cardinals can't drive for anything. Man, Ernie Ladd is towering over everybody else. Not a problem. I would, uh... <clears throat> I would definitely check out the Brian Phelps channel. His playoff implications abound. The Chargers doesn't really matter what they do there. They're going to be in a winner-take-all game next week, but, um... Well, the Cardinals aren't driving. Never mind. But the Cardinals are, are trying to get in the playoffs themselves. That is the end of the first quarter, and we are in a scoreless game here in San Francisco. Is, uh, is California State 1902? Obviously they are. I'm not that dumb, but um, definitely much harder to get out to California from Chicago. Obviously, uh, Mr. Shertrump is going to be back over in the other game. I appreciate him helping with the microphone. I know not to use that microphone now. Good field goal block. Keeps the game scoreless. Who said the pass is, is illegal and won't work? Pat O'Brien on the carry, picks up a couple yards. I wonder if you can hear the Brian Phelps game in the background. Most likely, if you're watching this game, you're watching it on a replay. 
trying to gain some knowledge and not getting any from me, so. Because the better game is definitely on the Brian Feltz channel, as that game is both teams are accurate in rosters and means more. down in one. Incomplete pass. We'll bring up a fourth down again. QB accuracy has been lowered to 20. Wide receiver catch has been lowered to 20. Pass blocking to 30. Run blocking is up to 80. So, um, trying to influence the game. And the Cardinals have taken a 3-0 lead. Thanks to a blocked field goal. And Chris O'Brien gets the three points. Tomorrow night on my channel, Back to Sack the Future, Baltimore Colts versus Pittsburgh Steelers. Still to come. Also the bonus game of the New York Titans and the Green Bay Packers. And the John M. Channel will have the Houston Oilers playing the, I believe, Baltimore Ravens. We should be finishing week three tomorrow, or week three, week 16 tomorrow with the final three games. <coughs> How does he catch the ball? That's my man. I couldn't cover him because I wasn't paying attention. And he's still, the, not only is the quarterback accurate, and the receiver catches the ball. So much for lowering the uh, sliders on a difficult pass. And the 49ers right down the field and get a touchdown. Well, I mean, other than making them zeros, and still it wouldn't stop it altogether because it is legal in Madden 19, so. Do the best they can and to, to make the game feel more realistic, but um, like I've said before, I'm, I am going to pass the ball because I am playing Madden 19. I'm not playing Madden 1903. Pat O'Brien making a move, getting some yards. I, he does seem to be running a little better with the new uh, slivers. Second and five. O'Brien up the middle, and that'll bring us to the two-minute warning. With the 49ers leading... 7-3. It's amazing how the one shorter quarter, or minute qu shorter quarter, and the um, um, Remember, I'm not controlling anybody who's not named O'Brien. Oh, Fitzgerald did all that on his own. Did not get out of bounds, though. Thank <laughs> you. 
Pass incomplete. Pass to Pat O'Brien, incomplete, and um, third down and ten. Meanwhile, an update in Sack to the Future, the 1961 season, the San Diego Chargers were taking a 3 nothing lead on the Cardinals. That 1961 Cardinals you'll see in this series, and let's see, uh -huh. 61 minus 2 is 59, but there was a seven-year gap, so about 52 games. I know I can't hit a field goal from that length. I'm not even going to try. Oh well. Still a minute 21 to go in the half. seem to be really good at catching with the 20 slider. Incomplete pass. saw it coming I reacted correctly and he still caught it even like I said with the little bad sliders oh well what are you gonna do Did a 49er get that? A 49er got that with all the Cardinals right there. Man. 
sorry. You got that field goal. Missed the first. Second was blocked. Makes the third. It's 10 3. Six seconds left. That's not me. I, I forgot to. Oh, there's a flag down. I was going to say the guy's going to go all the way on his own, but there's a flag down. Holding. Receiving team. And that's half. We'll quickly come out of the half. And now we kick off. How oh, that's awesome. Yeah, 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 we see that. Let's move on. Okay. Let's join Mr. O'Brien. Bad to go. Brian up playing a linebacker this time. We're gonna cover the middle there, middle left. Oh. Luckily the running back decided to juke nobody. So he blew his chance at a long, long game. Good hit by number 20. And we should get the ball back now. I didn't change the returners like I did in the first or the last week, so. Pat O'Brien goes forward, picks up. I'm getting uh, eight. <clears throat> My eyesight, I'm getting tired. This will definitely be in uh, for me. Usually I would have ran one of these broadcasts earlier in the day, but the, the kids are on break right now, so. O'Brien's going to run forward and get a first down. O'Brien up the middle picks up another eight again when the passing is hard and almost impossible run the ball O'Brien another first down Uh, 
Okay. Oh, he drops the ball. <laughs> Oops. I shouldn't have even controlled him, so I don't know why I even called that. Brian. Gonna cover Kittle on this play. George Kittle, one of the better tight ends in the league nowadays. Oh, I'm not even. CJ Bethard, not sure why he's playing. We're having a Garoppolo. Hmm. Well, another field goal. Fumble, I think it was down. Yeah, real clear. But whatever. Able to get forward for a first down. Pat O'Brien, he's got 72 yards. Definitely changing the slider system helps my running game. So if you want to run easily, just put your run blocking at 80. I think that's the end of the third quarter with the 49ers leading the Cardinals. 13-3. I have to continue to improve my earning game though until we get to 1908 and then I'll start increasing the passing back to what it should be. But, uh, yep, but two 49ers right in the same area. How did that happen? Because two Cardinals are in that area. <clears throat> uh, so again, if you're watching this game on replay, hopefully you heard my spiel earlier about what's changed. O'Brien to O'Brien for the first down. So even with the illegal passing, um, doing okay, doing better than... I really should. The 49ers, however, passing seems a lot easier for them. Go, 
He catches that. <clears throat> sure, he catches that one. Get a first down, jump into a little bit of a no huddle here as time is running low on us. It's really going to make the passing hard for these current sliders, but um, the Racine Cardinals on this channel, the St. Louis Cardinals currently going on the sack of the future. Falls forward for a first down. He's able to get it. Howard O'Brien couldn't catch that one. And another drop. Well, when you lower the receiver catching to 20, it's definitely going to make for harder games when you're trailing. Especially when the 49ers receivers seem to still be, even though I lowered the CPU's sliders too. Huh. The interception isn't lowered. You just snatch that thing out of midair. Well, 1902 it looks like we're going to fall to a loss. The only win coming in 1901, the year they changed the name to the Cardinals, thanks to uh, some <coughs> <coughs> faded jerseys. I don't know where O'Brien is, so I'm just not going to control anybody. Let's try and get out of this game so we can move into 1903. Not sure when that game will be, but uh, tomorrow night on this channel, the Baltimore Colts and the Pittsburgh Steelers and Sack to the Future. They rather run better than I did. I tried to go back and cover my zone. I think I have an idea. I think I know what I need to do. I need to not touch the guy until the ball's in the air and then just play the ball. Let uh, the computer play the coverage. I, of course, am a, a defensive lineman on video games. In real life, I was a safety in high school. And in the one semi-pro game, I ate myself into a defensive lineman. But I've always been a defensive lineman in video games. With the one exception, uh, Lawrence Taylor, when I would play with the Giants in Tecmo Super Bowl, he'd have to be Lawrence Taylor. Cause... But usually I was a Bill, and uh, I was just the Bills, and I was Bruce Smith, so... Oh no, Jack Kemp just got hurt in the Sacks of the Future game. That's not me. Okay, so trailing 13 3 with a minute 51 to go, and the poorest passing sliders I've ever played with, their 20s. Let's see what I can do. Well, uh, the key I've seen to, to throwing in this, of course, passing is illegal in 1902, but not in Madden 1903. <laughs> Madden 19 is to float the ball and hope for the best. You bullet it, he's not catching it, period. Yeah, you float it, he's really not catching either. Larry Fitzgerald's still, though, a superstar. I had to throw to him. Huh! 
I don't know how Fitzgerald caught that because that was thrown way behind him. But hey, let's uh, let's keep this thing going here. And like I said, Fitzgerald's a superstar. Even in 1902, he's got game. He's got skills. Blocking though, because the pass blocking is even horrible on the screenplay. Oh, we need to get moving here. Oh. And of course, Fitzgerald is not on the field for this. How do they know to cover the flat like that? Chris O'Brien makes the field goal. The new onside kick rules virtually make this play impossible. Yeah. We got all three timeouts though. Stupid new uh, kickoff rule. They, they ruined the onside kick. They really did. Over legislation in the game just continues to happen everywhere you look. Well, I, I get I get from the safety standpoint, but things like the the run up to the kick, just to, oh, time out. What am I doing? I'm too busy complaining about the new rules. Just the this crop of owners has let greed and <clears throat> their commissioner. Just take over everything and then stupid rule changes every year, left and right. Trying to over legislate everything. We're in the final timeout. Try and block the field goal. We had one field goal already. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna punt it. Now let's try and block the punt then. So 87 yards. <laughs> okay. No timeouts. Sherman's going to end the game. So, if you've watched any of this, hopefully you learned a little bit about 1902, what little bit I can tell you. <coughs> I haven't done the research yet for 1903. I'm not sure when we'll do the game, but we'll continue to move forward in time. Maybe I should have called this Gridiron Time Javel or something. I don't know, but... Um, To 
tomorrow night on this channel, the Baltimore Colts, Pittsburgh Steelers, Sack the Future. Head on over to Brian Feltz, finish out the Arizona or the St. Louis Cardinals and San Diego Chargers, 1961 bonus game as we speak. The Chargers lead the Cardinals 13-7. Until next time, I'm Vinny Vincent, and you're not. Thanks for watching.